how you doing? So I'm up in the woods. I finally got my hands on a Durston Exmid, which I'm so happy about because these are probably the most on-demand tents in the world at the moment. It's a trekking pole tent. Um, it's made with the principles of geometry to achieve the best weight um, efficiency for a trekking pole tent but it's made with a unique design so that the doors uh, when they open up that the pole is not in front of the door like you see in most trekking pole tents but for me I have never pitched this this isn't a review but it's my first impressions of the Xmit so let's see how I get on pitching it because I've never pitched this before They say you start off to try to make it as a perfect rectangle as possible and then it's just a case of shoving these in so if it's that easy I'm actually pretty shocked being honest but let's just see Hmm, that seems too easy. <laughs> so, let's have a quick run around the outside. As I said, this isn't a review, this is my first impressions. So, um, it probably needs a bit of practice to go up, but you start off with your four corners and try and make them as rectangle as possible. Like I can see there the wave, I, I'll probably be able to get that a bit better. But that all will come with practice. You have a guideline up the top. You have an additional guideline that I added to the side. And there's a second guideline up here. It's so easy though. It's just four. You could put this up with four pegs. You really could. So, the tie out point in the corner very strong and the stitching is very very good you have additional tie out points which i added some bungee cord on myself all here there's cord to tie down the door so you can open it with one hand and i like the ykk aqua guard zips they're really cool and another tie out point here that needs to be tightened up obviously but it's such a unique design. I can see how they used uh, the physics of geometry to actually do the different angles. You can see the different angles. It's meant to shed off snow and meant to shed off uh, wind because that one is different to that one. And then the further one, <laughs> it's, it's all different angles, which I love. And I haven't even looked at the inside yet. Oh, this dog falling asleep. Get out of here, you. Come on. Come here. But here's the air vent and you can actually put the pole in here as well as here so you have a choice and the unique thing about this which I'll show you in a minute is you actually put the pole in upside down and not the original with the spike downwards so so far that was so simple to put up you could actually pitch this full tent with just four pegs that's all wow and I haven't even looked at the inside yet I like that you can use this with one hand. Nice. It also has the clip system, which I love because it's the same door clip system that's in my Van Gogh Helium, and I love that. It just adds another dynamic to the bottom of your tent here. So you can actually clip them together. So it takes the pressure away from the zip that it's been the main arch of the tent is going to be held by the clips and not the zipper. I love that and it's a very, very smart move. It really is. That's a lovely system there. There's a small little magnet. That is so simple. Wow, no screwing around. And that's on both sides. You have plenty of headroom here. Plenty. And the vestibule is massive. Like, 
It's massive. And you've two of them. You've two of them. <laughs> so you could put all your bag and your wet clothes in one area. And then you could set up a, a, an eating area here if you wanted. Because the vestibule is so high as well. You could nearly sit in the vestibule. I'm going to see if you could sit in the vestibule. <laughs> I'm sitting in the vestibule. <laughs> That's crazy. I may be at a slight angle and I'm squashed up, but I am sitting in the vestibule. Actually, I'm on a seat about that much up, so if I sit in the floor, uh -huh, that might be better. But like you so much choice. If the weather was so bad that you couldn't get out, well then you could use your vestibule and you have two of them. And because it's an outer pitch first, I had attached the inner at home before I even came out. So you could actually take the full inner out, pack up everything, and you'll still have a big shell of an area to uh, do whatever you need to do. Let's check the inside. So the inner door just uses two bits of bungee that's attached and you just give it one loop and it stays in place. But it's a big inner. It really is. I don't want to put my feet down now because they are dirty. So I'm going to lie down, but I'll keep my feet in the air. <laughs> oh my God, there's so much room here. So much room. Oh, I got dirt, dirt inside. Get out. Do you reckon my new tent? You see there's loops at the bottom here that go around the bottom of your hiking pole but this is what I was saying your hiking pole actually goes in upside down so your handle is here and then up top it goes into this spike here I've seen Paul Mesner's video and he didn't like doing it this way for the fear that if it pops out that it'll puncture the actual tent and what he did is he got a sleeve that ties around the top of your handle and he put the spike facing down so he feels better about it. But it's designed this way, so I'm gonna use it this way. But it's a good idea out of Paul Mesner to do that. You can see as the four seasons in her, it has the white mesh and the half door. So half of the door is mesh. And then you have the fabric below for the four seasons. The one thing that's quite unique about this, it's, it's polyester, the outside sheet. So polyester doesn't absorb water. So then if it doesn't absorb water, then it doesn't sag when it gets wet. And plus, if it doesn't absorb water, it dries out a lot quicker. So I don't know why anyone hasn't used this before. It comes with fully taped seams, so you don't have to seam seal it. It also packs down quite short, so you can actually fit it horizontal in your uh, hiking bag so most trekking pole tents will have the pole right in the center and it's always not in your way but it's always there when you're getting in and out of the tent this is why this is a unique it goes at an angle over so you have the full area free that's quite ingenious being totally honest so it has a non slip floor and I actually got the ground sheet as well which beautifully clips on to the corners over there yeah it has very large vents so you're not going to get any condensation I wouldn't say in this the one beauty about this is you can attach everything together so that means you can attach the ground sheet to the inner so the ground sheet even stays with it so you have the outer the inner and the ground sheet all attached together for a quick uh, pitch so that means when you're packing it, you need to be strategic about the way you do it because you don't want to get your tent dirty. I need to practice a bit more putting it up, but like compared to the Langshang, when I would put, it up, put up the Langshang for the first time, it took me so long because it's uh, such a unique design. This is even more unique and it's easier. I was in contact with Dan Durston um, and he very kindly gave me a massive discount to get this tent over so I can actually uh, review it and go through it in my in my um, channel. So thank you very much Dan. This is, <laughs> it's, it's incredible man. 
it really really is so I'll be getting out in it soon enough um, yeah I need to get out of this woods because I'm smiling like a creep now for the last hour <laughs> okay I'll catch you on the trail I'm going out soon and uh, yeah we'll see you on the next one bye